Fellow Spartans, how are you doing? And welcome back to another part of episode number five of Telltale's Game of Thrones. And I've decided that we are going to finish this episode off today, right here, right now, because the suspense is killing me. I need to find out what the sacrifice is that we need to make. So let's jump into it and crack on. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No bloody hope not. It cost me a lot of money. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No oh, that's nice. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. That's what I have to hear. Not to get us killed. Think we'd let Commitment, you come on. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone um, who stands in our way. Not from take my house. Anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> mm. That depends on how nice your house is. I'll show um, them their beds. Pretty good. Pretty decent. I'll be there in a moment. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh. What a rematch. Suppose you want another chance to best me. I want the honorable death you denied me in the pit. Really? Perhaps I'll find it in Westeros. Wow, you would rather die than carry on. That's quite a sacrifice. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Here you go. Malcolm, you're here. And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Um, Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? Exactly, yeah. She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. Hmm. If I can... I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Can't change your mind? There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. Damn you, man. Your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. Give him a hug. I'll send Give a, a raven ahead to Ironrath. You can't leave without a hug. Come on. Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. You're not giving him a hug. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Um, yes, do that. Iron from ice. Don't be difficult now, just say the right Casting thing. Casting off! Oh, Take right, this. back here at King Glendon. Loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. Of course, we're gonna have a little chat he with him, aren't we? Say, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I bet you will. Because if you weren't listening, I was gonna backstab the queen. I tell you that. Oh, I ask for brawn. They send me a handmaiden. Hey, there's not any old handmaiden. Come on. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave <laughs> danger. And you've come seeking my help? I think we've had this chat already. <laughs> Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. Mm. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. He's too clever for his own god, is our Tyrion. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown um, tired of talking to myself. Yeah. I suppose I'll just a little. Ah, Accept it. True girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. Absolutely they are. You aren't one of them, love. So, why are you here? <laughs> Who's doing the drinking round here? I 
Okay. Um, it's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the black cells. Um, Cersei sent me. Cersei. <clears throat> <laughs> oh Christ! Right, he is listening then. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. There's no way I'm working for Cersei. Anything I can do to sell her out, I will do. I've had enough of this crap already. <laughs> this is all a ruse, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Yep. You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. Um, it's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it. Go on, go on, Daisy. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. God, she drinks a lot here. <laughs> so, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? Yep. Um. I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I'm glad. Yeah. Sod she her. left me no choice. Sod her. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told oh God! You not to run your mouth. Oh, shut up! Stupid girl. Back, Back off. Off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. I know and she will is. will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. Exactly. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. Yeah, yeah I <clears throat> gathered that. What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. Of course. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I have to tell her something. Then lie. Tell her I intend to call Sansa, uh, Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish all you right, well, Lady right. Mira. Thank you. Hopefully we'll meet again. You trust. I'm sure we will, Tyrion. We'll meet one time. One day. Right. Back at Ironworth. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's your leave? Busy, have we? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much all in the few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. Of course about not. Us. Great I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened... What will we do now? A bit more? Humpy Pumpy? We, uh, <laughs> what we are. Married. We'll be married. Oh. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Yeah, I think Ramsey one of Snow. these two is going to be the sacrifice. I was hoping got a you'd feeling say that. For, got a feeling about this one. Roderick? Oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I'm get sorry. out. Get I out of my alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I... I didn't realise you two were... I mean, I didn't realise she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. No, it's you're not. Just, this is urgent, Roderick. <laughs> and... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Can I have my uh, 
My bed sheet back, please. <laughs> All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. What? This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held. Yeah, this is all the, the plot, isn't talks it? talks about Elena. Mm. I know. It's everything. It's the ins Who's the insider here? I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Talia, where did you get this? The man I saw, he stashed it in the knot hole of an old stump. Like he'd done it before. Sure, right. I took a drop Talia, off. I need to know who it was. Come on. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. It does bloody matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. Well, who is it? I'm sure he had his reasons. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. <clears throat> Anyone who would betray us oh, for like God's this sake, gets deserves the point. to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. Oh, I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. Oh, for He's God's sake. What are you going to do, put your hand on his shoulder to give me the signal? Oh my God, this is tense now. This is getting tense. It's building up nicely. Not our mother, is it? <laughs> oh God, please don't be our mother. Oh my God, who Go is it? The guards. Who the bloody hell is it? Oh my God! Oh, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> you scared me after. I knew I'd, well, I didn't choose him. I knew it. That's why. I always so knew there was something know. wrong with him. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. You betrayed us, Duncan. After everything my family's done for you. What I did. I did for your own good. What, we put it on everything we've got? For House Forrester. Exactly. Your father's he sold us out. You told them everything, Duncan. Our plans, our strategies. I only told them enough to keep us from war. Bollocks. Why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still you stand a stand for this house. You have everything in this house. I'm trying to save this family. Everything I've done. You have everything against them. us. You are, you are, you are nothing for what this house stands for. But it's the bloody truth. You're not family. You're not blood. How can you say that? I've known you since you took your first breath. If that's not family, I don't know what is. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath. Exactly. Lord, and you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. With then, you that would pass down to me, wouldn't it? This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, oh my God. And you know it. No, I don't. It hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off Hit that him. corpse cart. You bastard. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> As I said. Don't 
Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Oh. Is this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. You bulls up here, haven't you, Duncan? Let's just get this over with. Yeah. Time what to die. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? It's time to kill him. I've made a promise to Hermione. Roderick, you promised. I did. Kill me? And I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. Oh, I'll God. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. Whatever you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. Not for my sake, and for your family's. Oh, God. Um, yeah, sorry, Hermione. There's, if I kill him now, I could lose a lot of information, a lot of valuable information which would save his family, potentially. So... I'm sorry, I'm going to have to spare him for the moment. I spare his I'll life. Spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he No, is. shut up, Hermione. Go away. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away! Silencing me won't change things. You're making no, a mistake. You've done enough damage already, haven't you? What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? We prepare for war. Prepare the horses. We're going Time to burn. To war. Yeah. We're going to have to, aren't we? There's no alternative. Roderick's ready. You would have a sea shanty. Lovely. You smell that. What? You're Shit. There. Let's, oh. let's have a look. Uh, right, what's going on now? Come on, Mutiny! Mutiny! Making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Rath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They will they follow... Don't know him. The men answer the to me, and of course I'll answer to Roderick. It doesn't That's matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Well, they'll trust me. Point taken. Don't worry, they'll trust him. I still feel like this is all going to go horribly wrong. That's odd. Yeah. Port's quiet. Yeah. yeah. No guards. Hardly any ships. Any ships, Maybe yes. Maybe they're all off fighting one of the It's a trap! Wolves. Could be. Or... Maybe we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Nothing's easy oh, when it comes to Game of Thrones. Easy, could it? <laughs> exactly! He just read my mind! Read my mind! So, this is Westeros. Lovely, isn't it? Ugly. I'll send you a postcard next time here. Fucking freezing too. <laughs> I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. <laughs> I love his banter. Banter. Ah, Roderick. We meet. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. I brought you an army, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. <laughs> Love it. I want that big guy to wreak havoc with his mace. 
Uh, what? what? Oh Christ, no! Get that gate open! Another trap, right. Oh, here he is, that prick. Lift the gate, big man, come on. Put your back into it. Oh, bollocks. I'm not ready for this, my controls aren't ready. Still on keyboard and mouse. Oh, yes, great start, Asher. Oh, no, 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 the big man. Can't do that without a fight. That's it. Come on, fam. You're an awesome guy. Get him up. Come on. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Asher, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Oh, Roderick. Hope you're in a fit state. Asher. Raise the gate! Right, the come on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Coo, 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 coo. We have to get out of here. Come on! Raise the bloody gate! Save yourselves! Advance! Oh my god. Look at this mate, these faces smile. What are you doing? One of us has to stay! Oh my god, is this the is this the sacrifice? Oh my god! <gasps> Fucking hell! Roderick, be the man, be the hero. Uh right. My lord, you must hurry! We cannot lose you! you Stays behind you save your life and our house. Our oh, true lord! Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Oh God! What a hero! I'll hold them off, but my lord, you Asher can't. is your new lord. Yes, my lord. Roderick, go. What a hero! Take as many of them as you can with you. Take that, Hermione. That's the sacrifice I make. Come on. This is like Sean Bean, Lord of the Rings, this is. Don't go down without that absolute, you know, hero status. Come on, another one. Go on, take it off. Carry on. Get to bloody Griff. No matter what you have to do, take Griff down. Oh, no. Oh, yes. This is awesome ending. This is, uh, you've got to admit, it's pretty amazing, this. Tear in the eye here. Get off! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty, pretty, pretty emotional, wasn't it, really? I mean, God, you didn't think it would go like that, would you? I mean, that is the ultimate, the ultimate, you know, sacrifice for your house. And that's a true lord to do that, to carry on fighting. Let's have a quick look at the statistics before we wrap up this episode. So you and 64.7% did not try to stab Ramsey Snow. You... And 59.4 spared blood song. You and 36.9 told Tyrion at Cersei sent you. I thought I would you know, sell the bitch out. Uh, you and 42.9% chose to imprison the traitor. Um, I think it could be still handy. I don't know why. And you and 52.5 had Roderick stay behind. I just feel that, you know, it was the... It's the bravest thing. It's like a Spartan. A Spartan would do that, you know, for the greater good sacrifice himself for his his men and things like that you know like like Xerxes did so like, like Xerxes bloody hell like Leonidas did but that was a what a way to go you know a true way to go a hero's death much as I say like Sean Bean did when uh, he died in Lord of the Rings but uh, yes 
Wow, episode 5 is done, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are ready for episode 6 when that comes out. Probably not too far in the future. Probably, I'd probably say sometime in September we'll be expecting that one to be released. So, uh, the wait shouldn't be too long. And I'm glad that is the case because I want to find out what happens in the final episode. It looks like... Uh, Things are going to get very, very interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this part anyway. The finale. The uh, the the episode I was uh, warned about. And if you did, of course, do drop your like. And I shall, of course, be back as well with episode 6. When it is released, as I say, at some point in the very near future. But until then, a very sad warrior spotter is saying farewell. <laughs>